Today on the uh, Kelbridge Kitchen, we are going to show you how to make a risotto. Uh, dead simple, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a base risotto, uh, which is just going to be a plain risotto. We're going to part cook it, um, and then we can make any sort of risotto that we like out of that, okay? So I'm going to show you what we're going to need to do. The secret to any risotto um, is a really good vegetable stock. Um, so you want to get your stock sorted out first, okay? That is the key to um to whatever you, whatever sort of resort you're going to make. So I've got some vegetables over here, okay? I'm going to show you what we're going to do to get this vegetable stock on the stove. Okay, so these are the vegetables that we are going to use for our veg stock, okay? We've got a couple of good-sized carrots there, um, two brown onions, some spring onions, a couple of sticks of celery, one potato, one parsnip, a tomato, and a rather large leek. There we are. So what we're going to do, we don't need to peel any of these, okay? Um, what we're going to do is just going to chop these up quite coarsely, and get them into this pan, um, and, and then fill that up with water and get it on the boil, okay? And just to finish off, what I'm going to do to add a bit of extra flavour to this um, is I'm going to add some um, vegetable stock, okay? So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of vegetable stock into this. So let me show you um, what we're going to do with these veg. Okay, so potato, um, chop it up into pieces. It doesn't really matter how you do this, just get it all chomped up and then that potato then can go into our pan. Okay, next our leek. Um, what we're going to do with this, we're going to just chop the end off there. I'm going to cut this, there we are, get all that chopped up. And we can get that into the pan as well. And with the rest of the leek then, we we'll just Take the end off there and just cut it into pieces. There we are. Okay, there's quite a lot of leak there, and all of that can go into our pan. Mix that together. Okay, so next then we're going to chop up our spring onions, um, our brown onions, our tomato and our parsnip. Okay, so we'll chop them up into small pieces and throw them in the pan as well. There we are, so our vegetables are all roughly chopped up now and into the pan, um, all mixed up there. What we're going to do now is we're going to add um, about a, a tablespoon or so of um, veg stock to that now as well just to enhance that flavour a bit, just mix that in there. And then what we need then is about two and a half pints of water, get that on the stove and get that boiling. Into the pan. Get that mixed in with a fork. Now the stove, bring that to the boil. So while our vegetable stock is um, simmering away on the stove, that's going to take about half an hour. Okay, we're going to simmer that nice and slowly. Get the rest of our ingredients ready. We're going to want one brown onion. That's going to be finely diced some lazy garlic um, to add to the onion. We're going to want some risotto rice and we're going to want some white wine. Okay, so we'll get these ingredients um, all contained up um, and then we can get on with uh, sorting this risotto out. So with our risotto rice, we've got our onions and garlic now chopped up there. With our risotto rice, we're going to want 350 grams of this. Right, get that open. So let's just Get that down to zero, 350 grams. There we go. 
$3.50. Lovely. Set that aside now with our onions. We'll get our 150 grams of wine into a glass um, and then we'll be ready to go. So um, our stock has been simmering away here now for just about half an hour, okay? So we take the lid off this, all of that lovely flavour, oh, it's going to come out. And that smells pretty fantastic, that's beautiful. So what we're going to do with this, uh, get the heat off it now. We're going to drain this stock through a colander into a large bowl and then we can just discard all the veg. So there we are. So being quite careful now not to spill any of this, we're going to get our veg stock, our pan. And we are just going to tip this into the colander and let the juice flow into the other saucepan. Yeah, a little bit at a time, let that go through. Get that veg in there as well. What you want to do um, at this stage is get yourself, get yourself a ladle now and just squash that veg through just to get the last of that juice out of there. Smells lovely. And there we are, there's our juice and what we'll do is tip this now into a jug. We can set that aside with our other ingredients. Okay, so um, at the stove, what we have now, we've got, um, we've got our medium-sized saucepan, we've got a bowl of um, vegetable stock, our white wine, our onions and garlic, and our risotto rice. Everything we need there to get our base risotto underway. Okay, so let me show you what you need to do. Okay, so first things first, um, into this pan here, we're going to want to get ourselves about 40 grams of butter. Okay, so 40 grams of butter straight into the pan and get that melting. Right. And when that butter's nice and melted, part melted, as long as it's starting to go, what we're going to do is we're going to add our onions straight into there. So we get all of our onions in there now. And as you can hear, our onions and garlic, rather. There we are. That's all starting to cook away. So turn the heat down so we don't want to burn them with a wooden spoon now. Just mix that around and cook that off until those onions just start to go soft. There we are, so those onions are nice and soft now. Um, we can turn the heat down on them, um, down to just a simmer. And the next thing we're going to add now is our um, wine, 150, 150 mils of wine there. There we are, pop that into the pan. And basically what we need to do is just to let these cook now, simmer away until that wine is all but gone. And all we're left in there again is... Um, is with our, our onions. So we just let that sort of simmer down now um, until the wine at least reduces by half. So our um, onions and garlic and white wine have been cooking in here now for about 10, 10 minutes or so, I would have thought, or 10 minutes. And that wine's reduced now down to half of, of what it was before. Okay, so what we're going to do next, um, we're going to get our risotto rice um, and we're going to add this into that mix. Okay? There we are, there's our rice into the mix and what we're going to do now is to mix that in so that it gets coated with the wine and the onions. There we are, that's all nicely coated. Now here's the time consuming part of making a risotto. This is going to take about 20 minutes or so. We're going to take a ladle and we're going to add at a ladle at a time of our veg stock into our risotto mix and basically stir it in. There we are. And you're going to need to do this, um, so it's on a medium heat, so it's actually cooking away, but you're going to need to do this um, virtually constantly for about 18 to 20 minutes. And that risotto will just absorb all of that vegetable stock. And then as the vegetable stock has vanished and it's dried up, get your next ladle in. There we are. And keep adding those ladles and keep stirring that risotto. And stir the risotto just the one way. 
Okay, so if you start going clockwise, always stir it clockwise. If you start going anti-clockwise, always stir it anti-clockwise. But don't change your direction. So I've been stirring this risotto now for somewhere in the region of 20 to 25 minutes add in a ladle at a time of this uh, veg stock okay i'm gonna pop the last ladle in now and we're going to mix this in because this risotto is virtually ready um, and when i say virtually ready because this is a base risotto what we're going to do we're not going to cook it 100 percent we're going to cook it about 80 percent um, so it's almost there but not quite so we'll just stir this last um, ladle of stock in and then we'll be able to get this off the heat yeah, so as you can see that it's nice and juicy, not too gloopy, but not quite 100% cooked. And I added, um, from the stock that we had here, I got about probably two pints I used. Later at the time, I got two to two and a half pints of stock in here, and it's all been absorbed by that risotto rice. Okay, let's just check this. So just get yourself a fork and take a little bit of the rice out, and this should be slightly crunchy. Mm, slightly crunchy, very tasty, but not 100% cooked. Okay, let's get this off the heat, get it into a container. And there we are, so we get all of that risotto out into our dish. Hopefully it'll fit. There we are. Give that a shake down now. There we are, and that is now our base risotto. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this to cool, um, and then we, or we can get this in the fridge so it cools down nice and quick, okay? And then that can be used to make a number of sort, any sort of risotto. Really, we can use that to make our mushroom risotto, um, the bacon and mushroom risotto, asparagus risotto, veg risotto, any kind of risotto that you like. But there's the base, and we can use that for the lot of them. <laughs>